Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how you can get a mountain lion or lion looking theme on Snow Leopard. So first you're going to want to go to this Safari website, the link will be in the description. And you're going to want to download the file here. This is basically just the theme that's going to make your whole operating system look different and it does actually change the operating system and it's no con it's fully worked on three other Mac devices that I have got so you download that and once you've downloaded it it should come up like this once you open it it will be like that you're going to want easy install and then it should be another button that says install another button you're going to want to click that says snow tunes and then type in a password and then it will install it it should take no less than three minutes and then you will have to restart your computer and you'll log back on and you will have a lot changed on your computer you already noticed that mine looks nothing like Snow Leopard, which is what it actually is. 10.6.8. Um, and you've got a lot of changes, all of this, the buttons here, stuff like that. A lot of minor changes in that download, but that is not the only thing I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to be adding my own launch pad aka disguised as the dashboard um, and it is better than the actual launch pad I think because you have well you can personalize it because it's the dashboard and I've added Facebook there Facebook there Google stickies things like that make a real difference and I think Apple should use them in launch pad Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can make your uh, dashboard into something like Launchpad. You're going to want this widget. It's called Plus. Just type in Plus Mac Dashboard Widget. It should be uh, not far down. Yep, yeah, MacStories.net, you're going to want that. And you're going to scroll down until it says, give it a try. And there we go, you've got give it a try. And you click here and it should be download. Okay, so once you download that, you should see in the dashboard, once you've got it already, you should have that there. Once you open that, you can say I want an app in my dashboard go to applications I want dictionary in there and then you're going to want to click F4 once you've dragged and holded it and then drag that to that little green plus there and you can change the size of the logo there have it really big and you can change links and then there we go click on that dictionary opens so it is quite similar to what you would normally expect on launchpad so that is one of the best features and the last feature I am going to show is in system preferences you go to expose and spaces and you're going to want spaces um, and first of all you're going to want to have this enabled and you can choose how many rows and columns you want personally I like four but what these are these are desktops so basically uh, you choose what key you want to use to open so now when I click F6 I've got four different desktops open this one you can see I've got finder this one I'm going to want safari this one I'm going to want GarageBand and another one I'm going to want iMovie 
So you go to the opening on all the different ones. Should open. We've got garage band there. Nope, that's iMovie, yep. Yeah. And then we're going to want garage band on that. So then if you look there, you've got all of these different ones with all things open on them. And that is quite a cool feature. So I think you should definitely try all these out. These make it really different.